If you want to learn how to make it easy for a first-person game, then stick around through the rest of this video. And if you want to support me, buy my plugin, link in the description below. Alright, so this is the dev forum post. Once you scroll down, you can scroll down all the way to the bottom and find it right here. If you just click on this to open it. And then you have a download button right here, but I already have it, so it just says try in studio. And you have example videos here that show you. So this is how it looks when you have the view model on. It gives you arms and it gives you sway and everything like that. So if I go into studio and I open the toolbox, just go to my models and then it'll have arms right here, the easy first person. So you just insert that. And then you can delete the thumbnail camera, the readme and the model and just take this script and put it in starter character scripts. And it has a bunch of settings. So you can just open it. You have a sensitivity you have a sway size. You have strafe, you have offset and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is take sword and insert this into the starter pack and then we can just click play now once you go in first person you can see you have your arms there when you jump and you take the sword out and then you have your first person arms so it's just a view model like that and you don't have the script the arms movement and stuff like that it just does it all for you you go back out of first person and it's just regular normal and it automatically works with any animation you already have. So you'd have to make animation separately for the model. And if you don't want the arm to be so close to the screen, for example, you can go to, um, you can go here to head offset and then the Z value, you can change it to like 0 0.6. And then you can play and then equip the sword and you see it's further away from the camera. So it's not that close. So it's just preference. You can also add it as a setting in your game if people prefer it, but you can also, use the FOV too on the camera. So like set this to 90 and then the view model is further away like that. So you can do that instead of setting the, the offset. So what I'm going to do is go to meshes here and then I'm just going to get a pistol and then I'm going to insert this and I'm going to scale it down. I'm just going to make a simple tool so I can show you another feature of this. So if we name this mesh part handle, and then we go into tools or insert a tool, put the handle in there. And then we can just use this to edit the grip of the tool quickly. So now if we put this in the starter pack and we just play, you can see we have a first person gun like that. But the feature I want to show you is the aim offset feature. So if you go into your character here, and then you go to the first person script and go to aim offset. If you take this X value, you can move it. So if I set this 0 0.3 or 0 0.4, you see it moves it to the left a little bit more. So if we move it to 1, 1.3, 1.2, move it over a little bit. And then move this closer. So like negative 0 0.3, that's up. Set this back to zero. It's just trial and error. So you can just make a zero point to move it closer. You can see you have like aimed on sight. So, so now if we just take that, if we can script it into the gun to aim. So if we insert local script here, we can just do local player equals game dot players dot local player and then local character equals player dot character or player dot character added wait and then now we just have to get the mouse and then the value so local mouse equals player get mouse and then local value equals character wait for child easy first person i'll add like 10 there and then just do um dot aim offset like that and then just get run service too so local r equals game get service run service so we'll make a value called aiming and every and when the value for aiming is set to true then it'll set the view model over to the side so local aiming equals false and then mouse stop button true down connect function you just do aiming equals true and then you do the same thing for button to up. So just button to up, except set aiming false. 
and then we just use run server so r dot render step connect function if aiming equals equals true then just do value dot value with a capital v equals vector three dot new so we can just set our value how we set it in game so zero point or one point three uh, zero negative zero point one and zero and they just do else and then so if they're not aiming just take this and set them all back to zero so it's back to the side so now if we go in here and play test we have our tool we right click it aims in we unright click it aims out so that's how you can make aiming easily you see my arm on the left is onto the side but if you have like a uh, animation for your gun that's holding it with two hands then that won't really matter because you'll see them both here so just have an animation for your gun and then it'll be fine so you can aim and then you know shoot so just you can make a first person game really simple you can see here you have the shadow for your gun but no shadow for the arms so if you want to change that you can just go to your tool and then just go to cast shadow and then just turn that off and then now there's no there's no shadow so it doesn't give the players that weird effect it also works with r6 too so if we publish the game or just save it and then we go to game settings avatar and then set it to r6 then if we click play you have r6 character we go in first person now we have r6 arms it aims just as it did before and it works all the same and it's just pretty simple so if you have any questions you could draw my server in the description below you can also ask on the dev forum post and if this video helped you just make sure to subscribe and yeah.